Hi, students. Elephant and whale uh, is the issue of today. Um, as you know, they, uh, they can be called in virtual and you, you have to learn what is the virtual functions and the animal code has no bugs, even though it is animal. Few virtual functions may be uh, explained in detail. So virtual function is object oriented. That means it, it is called according to the object types. So the actual object type is used rather than the superclass type. So it implements object orientation, but why it is not a default in C++? Because a simple answer is that it is because of the worry about runtime performance. So it is in default like Java in other languages such as Java, it is default. So there is no keyword called virtual in Java because it, everything is virtual in Java. So you may declare a function, a method, not virtual or virtual in C++, you have options. Do you remember this final code? Final code for animals. So let me share this with your um, terminal. So in your animal code, is this lab nine? Okay, so let me go to nine. There's no virtual uh, animal class. APP. So let me share this. So you can write down include IO stream using namespace in space std and class animal is created with a private field string name and this is private. And for public method, animal string, the initial name is empty and the field name is initialized by the parameter. And the string name may return a name here. And all stream reference print all stream out. Um, it, it may it may print a name, so it may return. So let me just describe this in a little bit. Return out after print the name. Yeah. So this is the animal, your animal class. So as a test code, you can test them by creating an animal. You, you'd like to create two animals such as uh, new animal, so this is animal pointer. The first animal is Tom, and second animal, Jane, and you'd like to print them for each animal pointer P in any, you like to print them to the O stream out. So print p dot print to C out the line. That's good. So let me compile this. Make animal. It should be a reference. Sorry. Why it is not working? It's 
stream is not working here. It seems this is this should be a reference. This is a really a problem. I was in VIM again, so let's make animal. So executing it. Um, Jane is printing. But you'd like to extend this, include two subclasses. The CPP, two subclasses called elephant, probably animal. And another subclass, and the subclass is containing uh, the constructor. Sorry, the constructor elephant string n, which is in an empty string in default, and super class constructor is called here, invoked here. And all stream reference, so let me just copy this. The lines are copied to here. Not just a name, but elephant parenthesis is appended before name. And the closing parenthesis is appended after the name, okay? But you know that name is a private field of your superclass. So rather than using the field, you can invoke name safely. Okay. So let me just use uh, an elephant. What is your elephant, elephant name? Uh, what is good? Elephant pointer. New elephant, Ooh, elephant O. So you'd like to print then ELP print C out. So let's just make any more. And executing it again. Elephant two. Is this good? So any more the CPP, you want to make another class where you animal, but rather than printing elephant, it is printing where you name. And you'd like to make an a whale of rel p new whale lady. And you'd like to print them of rel p print c out the line. Okay, so make any more. Uh, okay, the constructor is not renamed. That is uh, that is a side effect, which is which is not uh, refutable. When you copy the code. Okay, so make animal. Executing it, Tom, um, Jane, Elephant. Okay, it seems good. However, if you'd like to modify this, since you have two pointers, 
rather than assigning a new something, you want to make them as the fields of animal pointer. ELP, WLP, maybe your animal. Okay, so rather than printing elephant and whale, okay, this is what you want. You want to print elephant, you want to print a whale through the pointer array of the animal. Okay, so let me just compile this. In the Make animal. You want to print animal, but only the names are printed rather than, you know, you, you don't know lady is whale, who is an elephant, you don't know that. Okay, that is really a problem. So why it is? Because of the virtual functions. So if you want to call the print, According to the objects, just type a single keyword, virtual. This is enough. On adding only a single keyword. But then you'd like to make animal again. And you'd like to Execute it. Elephant who whale lady is printed as expected. Okay. So if you have, if you want to print, it should be overloaded by the subclasses, then you can make this as a pure virtual. So this is not allowed to invoke directly. So you can assign zero for a function. So this is a pure virtual. In that case, if you want to try the third, third one, which is called a new L animal with John, this is not possible because John is an animal, but the pure virtual function should be overloaded by some subclasses. This is not allowed. So let's try it. Make animal, it should report an error. An error. So because the following virtual function are pure within animal, you cannot create animal Oh, sorry, you cannot create uh, any more something. Okay, so this is an error. Do you have any questions up to here? Any questions up to here? No questions? Okay, so let's go back to your slide. So I made a pure virtual here. Then this makes that this class as an abstract class. Even though it has no abstract keyword. So you cannot create an animal object directly. So using virtual functions, do you know this song? Okay, I'd like to share this as your screen, whole screen. May not be invoked directly. What's wrong with this? I may copy this. Oh, sorry. And the lyrics is here. Sorry for 
it is a cold day. I just see God. So it's copied here. And you created two animals, elephant and whale. And those pointers are stored here. So it, it is written in English, but you can do that um, in Korean. Okay, so let's make this. Make animal. Emulacpp is executed. So can you see this? This is a, a Lilix of the a English translation of the Lilix because they are calling elephant gentleman and a very lady. So on a sunny day, an elephant gentleman is crossing Pacific, sailing on a leaf. A whale lady is sending to an elephant gentleman a slide wink for a propose. Okay? So you can translate the code using your virtual functions. Okay? So the IO stream, IO manip, CMath, these three things are included using namespace std, class circle has a storing a private field radius. Circle is created with the radius and the area is printed radius times radius times. This means uh, the arctangent one is calculating pi over four. Know that Arctangent one is calculating like this in your rectangular um, equator triangle. And you know that the, if this is one and one, you know that this angle is pi over four. So arctangent one is calculating pi over four and this times 4.0 4 is calculating pi, okay? So radius times radius times pi. So you can call the area of a circle with the diamond, uh, with the radius one, you can call the area and the area should be pi, okay? And square root two, you know that square root of two is uh, 1.41423 dot dot dot. Okay, so with the precision five, we will print up to one, two, three, four, five, up to here. So the set precision when it is uh, set as fixed, the set precision is setting the number of digits after the decimal point. And you know that these fixed and set precision are called manipulators, just like end line. Manipulator objects. So note that the manipulators are used to set the alpha format of, a, of floating point numbers the manipulator set precision n is used to set the precision of the upper format, the number of digits after the decimal point is set to n. Do you have any questions up here?